Today we're going to review how to test a 4 to 20 milliamp loop vibration sensor. And uh, the sensor that I'm using today is IMI model number 640B01. When I talk about um, testing this type of sensor, what I'm really doing is confirming uh, that the sensor's output is linear throughout its range and also that it reaches its full scale output of 20 milliamps. So to do this, I'm going to be using the model 9110D portable vibration calibrator, although the same procedure could be performed with the 9100D. This is a compact and self-contained vibration reference source and its frequency response uh, goes down to 5 hertz. We'll be testing our sensor at several test points and after each test point we'll rec record the output current into the report generation workbook, which is supplied with the portable vibration calibrator. This will allow us to determine if the sensor is exhibiting its expected linear response and if it's reaching its full scale output. So let's set up the test. First, we need to mount our 4 to 20 milliamp sensor to the armature of the portable vibration calibrator. And we do that with a mounting stud, and I'll just hand tighten it. Then we want to take our two pin mill cable and attach it to the sensor. Now you notice that this cable ends in two pigtail leads which I have connected to this 9100 PSO2 power supply. This handy piece of equipment allows you to utilize the PVC's USB slot to provide power right from the PVC making this procedure truly portable. You could perform it virtually anywhere. Uh, and because the PVC itself is only equipped to measure AC voltage signal, we'll need to measure the output of the sensor using a multimeter. So you can see we already have the leads connected here. And we're going to take the output signal from the 9100 PSO2 and connect it to our multimeter. And we'll turn that on to measure current. And finally, we will connect the USB to the USB slot on the portable vibration calibrator. And now we're all set up. Next, we need to get ready to record data. So open the report generation workbook, which is an Excel workbook supplied on the flash drive included with the 9100D and the 9110D. You may get a message up in this area asking if you want to enable macros. You do need to enable macros. Then come down to the Lin Data tab and we'll scroll over to the right. We see that the table on the right is the one appropriate for collecting data for a 4 to 20 milliamp loop vibration sensor. So let's pick velocity here because our sensor is a velocity sensor and our units are in inches per second peak. Our output is in milliamps. We do want to test over five points through the sensor's range so that we can confirm that the sensor's response is linear through its entire range. So we'll start at zero inches per second peak, then 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, and one inch per second peak. And now we're all set up and ready to start taking data. Now that we're all set up, we're ready to begin the test itself. We are going to test at five different amplitude points evenly spaced through the sensor's range. So we'll turn on our portable vibration calibrator. And we want to make sure that our units for amplitude are set to inches per second peak. So we'll just press the amplitude button until we reach inches per second peak. There we are. We want our frequency to be set in cycles per minute, and it is. We want it to be at 1,800 cycles per minute. So I'll make that adjustment now. So this is our first test point, and we can take a look at the multimeter and read that it says the output is about 4.04 milliamps. Now we'll adjust the amplitude to 0.25 inches per second peak. And we can see our response is 7.91 milliamps. Our next test point is 0.5 inches per second peak.
and now our output is 11.89 milliamps. Uh, now to 0.75, and we read 15.85 milliamps. And finally, at the top end of the range, one inch per second peak, and our output is 19.82 milliamps. Now that we've collected all of our data, you can see that the sensitivity has been calculated automatically for each point that we recorded. It is a simple matter to create a linearity certificate. Just press the View Certificate button within the workbook. Once you have the certificate, you can save or print it out.